Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. It's finally time to deal with the end game boss. Heck yeah. But first of all, I gotta show off the personas I've made. We did. Well, I, I, by I, we, I mean Ogre. I kinda got a little grind happy, so I'll show you in a second. But here's the basic personas we'll need Black Frost and Ku Cthulhan. Those will pretty much be the only ones we see. Because look at him. So damn handsome. And that spear. And he'll probably murder everybody. Exactly. With his giant spear of murder all. And then we got this guy. This weird three-headed guy. This one. This one I was proud I made. Because look at these two skills. Revives an ally to full HP. And restores one ally's HP fully. We've got a lot of personas that I really wasn't expecting us to have anytime soon, considering they were... Ugh. It's like most of the spells we've got now are like light and we're just getting medium. And then you made some that are like, oh, we just do heavy damage to everybody. Yeah, see, she's got Aki Dean. Yeah, so that kind of surprised me Look a bit. Look at those fingernails, too. Yeah, she, she weirds me out a little. But this one we'll be using a lot because... Yeah. Also, our stats, and uh, I, I kind of got a little grind crazy after a while. Yeah, level 51. I meant to stop at 50, but I was farming stuff, and I ended up getting another level for that, and I figured, why not? Keep in mind that the boss says, like, you should be... Rank, you should be, like, rank 45. Like level 45. Level 45 tops. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, the maximum you should be. This one ain't gonna... This, this one ain't gonna go well. Yeah, 38 to 45 will be a nice happy place for the fight. So, yeah, um... This guy isn't gonna like us. At all. Quick glance at what everybody's got right now. And a quick glance at the equipment, because I actually picked up some new stuff. What's a paladin? <laughs> It'll be nice for phys if he does physical, but... Eh. Let's see. I gave... I f was lucky enough to get a storm vow for Yosuke, which gives us a... Uh, it's like 50%. It's That's 30%. It's, it's a 30%. Wind extra to wind damage, but since he has wind boost, that's 25%. They stack, so he gets 55%. I got an Amaterasu Fob for her that increases her HP by 30%. And Yukiko's Blessed Hands, which, god damn, they do. They heal you, like, beautifully. So I think we're ready to go. Alright. got from the mini boss. That's a, I think it's a, like a reference to Dragon Quest 3. Mm -hmm. You need the orb of light to actually deal damage to the final boss. Hmm. Look! There he is! You, Mitsuo! You better be ready to pay, you bastard! Wait, Kanji! Something's not right. Everyone gets on my nerves! That's why I did it! What do you think of that? Say something, damn it! Nobody even thought of me after the first two people. That's why I went for the third one. I killed them! What are you all quiet for? Because I feel nothing. What are you talking about? Makes sense, damn it! What the? Well, which one's the shadow? I have nothing. I am nothing. And you are me. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm. I'm not nothing! No, if this keeps up. Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? 
Damn it! Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! We came after you! Are you the killer? <laughs> of course I am! I'm the one behind everything! I don't give a damn what this imposter's saying! <laughs> you hear that? You have nothing to do with me! Get out of my sight! That goes for the rest of you, too! Why'd you chase me all the way here? I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! I can do it, you know! I can do anything! So you don't accept me? What the... Damn it, here we go again! Get ready, everyone. Once we beat him, this case is as good as closed. Can he get? You'll have to destroy the outer shell first. Now this boss, I've t I try to talk a little bit about symbolism and the like in these bosses, and this is an interesting one. It's Mitsuo is actually very much kind of a child, I guess. He's a child at heart, and he can't seem to grow up. Which is, oh, 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 crap. Which is why, then, that you see him, his shadow as being a baby here. That's the cause of the pixely everything, just being pure video games that he drowns himself in this kind of fantasy world. And he actually only has one attack, which is command, but then that command will do things. I love this persona. Let's see, what else do we have for symbolism? Um, the use of a shell, Mitsuo the hero, represents Mitsuo's need Holy to... Holy crap, that did 383 damage to him. Represents Mitsuo's need to project a false image to the world of a powerful being devoid of fault, when in reality, it is nothing more, or it is nothing but a warped parody of a young child, incapable of using physical attacks. There we are. Let's attack with all our strength. Oh wow! Let's see here. Oh, another interesting thing. Oh, the Kaja. When it speaks in human form, it has a very deep and menacing voice, much like an actual person, but when it speaks in uh, shadow form, its voice sounds synthetic and atonal. Um, this is a... let's see here... This being what it projects, the human form, me is uh, realistic and powerful, but what it actually is, is just an emotionless machine. Which again, goes back to... Mitsuo essentially being this kind of emotionless thing. He doesn't think of himself as anything, and he feels he needs to do everything he can to... Oh no! Feels he needs to do everything he can to, um, essentially prove that he exists, which is the whole reason he committed the murders in the first place. Let's do 
find where it says this. Uh, let's see here. At one point, he says, I have to kill you to prove that I exist. Which is his desire to commit murder as a desperate act to try and make an impact on the world. Stagnate air. Whisper. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the whole shell around him this time. The shell takes time to finish forming. Destroy it before that happens. He needs to do it in three steps. Mm. Like whisper, chant, and then something else. But I have power charge on. And deathbound. I love that persona. Let's do this. <laughs> That'll do her. Most videos seem to take it like, uh, like two turns for the whole party just to take that shell down. We took it down in two people's turns. I let my guard down. Yeah, for the most part, that's what you get for Mitsuo, though. He's essentially a troubled child who can't grow up. He feels the need to prove his own existence, but he's still just acting like a child. I guess you could say it's kind of like kids that run around demanding to be treated like adults when they don't act like adults. I guess you could say it's kind of an extension of that. To a really great extent. Eho. So instead of acting like a child, this world is based on video games. We probably won't be getting to see that shell fully formed again. Though no one my luck we probably will. Yet he still views everyone else's and kind of life in general as being pretty meaningless. There we are, that's the line I mentioned before. Up, oh, fully formed. Oh, and now we can actually use. Oh, crap. And now we can actually use. Yep, he's gonna use it. Giga Dean. At least we gotta see that, because I would have felt <laughs> bad if we didn't see that in the video. Okay, now the um, the battle animation thing there, we actually give the command and everything, that's uh, a that's a, That's a reference to the original Shin Megami Tensei mm. and pretty much every other JRPG ever. Now I want to see this one, because it's like 50% boosted with a mind charge Augie Dean. Persona. That ought to do her, thanks. <laughs> That's really what this whole dungeon is referenced to. It's referenced to really old-school RPGs. I mean, go back to your NES Dragon Warriors. That's the second critical she's had in this fight. That'd been so hilarious if that thing fell over. It's like a pile of pixels and everything. <laughs> ah, bomb! Uh -huh. If you get hit by it, it causes it to drop. Mm. Ah, Giggy Dean. If you're doing this at 45, that's actually pretty bad, but considering we're... Yeah, thankfully, it's not a huge deal, and overall... For, yeah. for us, at least. Yeah, overall, this fight's a little bit of a cakewalk. I mean, we have to pay attention, but... Yeah, because he did that twice on his turn. The shell's about to go down, so. Twirl. Bam. It's a little frustrating you have to destroy the shell before you can even deal damage to the boss. Well, that's just how it works. At the very least, you're guaranteed a um an all-out on him. Yeah. That's kinda nice. That's thankful. Oh, he's winded. I am now. Really shouldn't be shocked at that. Ha 
<laughs> we countered that. That is so awesome. I already have the line charge on, so I'll you can see what it does on him. Oh, and one thing you'll notice, actually, is, um, <laughs> and this is really important, is Mitsuo was himself was actually showing a lot of the elements of his shadow. Might want to hurry up, I think it's going to be before dead. The, yeah, before the, the, uh, before the fight started. Never mind, she missed. So, just kind of an interesting thing to note is, he was denying it so hard, but he was actually... He was actually doing a very good job of representing it. I'm just gonna go straight up, Augie Dean. That'll be the end. Do you have anything else to say before this is over? I'm good. Okay. Just barely managed to get out everything I needed to say. Yeah. No, wait! No, I'm good. And it's funny, too, because he's considered one of those that one bosses things. Let's see if anybody levels up. Finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the... You guys... Who the hell are you guys? Talk... to me? The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it! You piece of shit! And not just that bastard Moraoka! That stupid announcer! And the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! <sighs> hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... <sighs> hey! You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! You gotta love Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> What a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. Hello, Pot. This is a Kettle. Freak. You're black. Ah! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? Whoa, look who it is. 
<laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit? Answer me. If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. But why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, are you gonna kill me? Kanji-kun! Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. That's something you would say in that situation. <laughs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard?! <laughs> Dude, the cops. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke... I am really surprised Yosuke didn't at least slug him once. I'm actually surprised Kanji was so level-headed during that whole thing. <laughs>